Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, we got another fun video I'm gonna do for you guys. Oh my gosh, so many tutorial videos, so many how-to videos. You guys have been eating it up. Hey, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm all about helping you guys grow a more successful business so you guys can go out there and crush it. And one thing I love doing and sharing with you guys is how-to type videos. Now, whether you're a business owner, a contractor like myself, or just you know managing your own yard, you want to make the stripes look great, a question I get a lot from you guys is, how do you turn with a tractor or a zero turn mower and not tear up the grass? Now, that is a really good question because, let's be honest, a lot of these mowers were, were going fast, they're 1,500 pounds, and when you make those turns, you gotta be uh, careful. What I wanna do is present three or four tips, three or four uh, suggestions, right, to you guys uh, to help you with not uh, skid marks and tearing up the lawn like some of you guys uh, might do or like I've done I mean I didn't know how to operate a lot more like that um, it was all new territory to me right with a zero turn so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips we're gonna mow some grass up and down uh, in fact if this lawn looks familiar for you guys, this is where we did the uh, how to stripe, how to get perfect stripes every time. I'll make sure to leave a card here if you guys wanna check out that video at the end, how to get perfect stripes every time with the zero turn mower. So if you guys are appreciating these how to's, shoot a big thumbs up, let's jump into it here. So four tips I wanna give you guys. Number one, this is not a race car. This is not a go-kart, all right? I know it's low hanging fruit, but whether it's a tractor or your zero turn, you gotta slow down on the turns. Now, point number two that we're gonna be talking about is to do a T-turn. Now, uh, I've heard this explained a couple different ways. A T-turn, a three-point turn, a K-turn, right? Whatever you wanna call it. Basically, you're coming down, we're gonna kind of roll. So that's one, so coming down, you roll, that's one. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. One, two, three. All right, it's really simple stuff. So as you're coming down, you're gonna loop back and then go all the way down, all right? So a three-point turn. Now, uh, I don't know if that came from the off-roading world where uh, you're in a Jeep and you gotta do like a 30-point turn on a mountain, right? I don't know, but just having fun here. But a three-point turn is usually uh, what you're trying to do. Now, here's one thing I'll tell you. As you do the three-point turn and you come back down, you wanna make sure that you're lining up the mower deck tip to tip, right? That's how we got the perfect stripes every time. That was the biggest tip from that video. You wanna make sure you're lining it up tip to tip, and that's your, your guide mark, your guideline for when you're turning around, that's how you know you lined it up correctly, okay? All right guys, let's go mow some grass. I'll give you a couple examples here to show you how we do it uh, with our three point turn, and then we'll come back and I'll give you guys tips three and four, and we'll wrap this guy up, just short and sweet. guys so quick little voice over here something different that I like doing on the videos so as you guys can see we're coming down we back up with the lawnmower and point number three is we go all the way down notice the tip tip to tip all the way down on the mower all right so same thing we're gonna be coming down on this clip I'm going a little fast but we're actually cutting grass and as you guys can see we roll that's number one we're gonna back up a little bit that's number two and zip all the way down that's three that's the three-point turn and we got one more clip here just to show you guys the same thing. And the biggest tip I can give you guys is when you turn, don't just roost your tail out of there. Don't just spin the tires. Take some time, then accelerate. All right guys, so we're all done with that backyard. All done with the mower here. So let me give you the last two tips. This would be tip number three and tip number four. And we gotta get out of here because we got a lot of work still to do. So here's the deal. Uh, tip number three I can give you guys is have fresh tread on the lawnmower, on the wheels. Now I know you guys are like, Really? Come on, that's a tip. But yes, I'll tell you, the more bald your tires are, it's like a balloon, uh, if you will, a smooth rubber surface 
on the grass and it tears up the lawn, in my opinion, way more than if you uh, had fresh tread, which has teeth to kind of grip in so you're not spinning the wheels, right? Which also leads to, uh, which also leads to tip number four, and that is the biggest tip, which is keep your wheels spinning. Whether you got a zero turn, a tractor, or a stander, when you're making that T turn, that three point turn, the K turn, whatever you want to call it, right? It would be the inside wheel. You want to make sure that that wheel is still spinning, all right? At least that's my tip. That's my tip for uh, what we do is that uh, you don't want to just have that wheel planted, right? You want to make sure that when you're bringing it back and going down, that it's always spinning. And number two is that when you kind of launch to go back down that line, make sure that that wheel, you don't just jam it forward, whether it's on your zero turn uh, or your stand on mower, right? So imagine this, you're coming down, we're doing the roll, two, and we're going back down. So as you're going back down, don't just full throttle it, especially when it's wet or dewy in the morning, you're gonna spin those tires, have a little rooster tail there. And that's usually where I see a lot of the tearing up of grass come from. So hopefully that helps you guys out. All right, so let's wrap this up with my million dollar question back to you guys. And this is something that I've seen a lot of comments and I've also watched a lot of your guys' videos and I wanna know what you guys do with regards to the three point turns. Do you guys turn around on the sidewalks or do you guys turn around on the grass? That's a question I get asked a lot on my channel and here's my kind of definitive, kind of a gray answer. Every time it really depends. But here's the deal, if it's dry out, I usually turn around on the sidewalks and driveways. If you keep all the wheels moving, you don't have any skid marks. That's just my opinion, that's my observation. However, if it's wet or if it's in the spring, you'll normally see us do all of our turning around on the grass on that last uh, edge uh, all the way around the perimeter of wherever we're mowing whether it's north south east west diagonal doesn't make any difference right what i will say though is if i turn around on the grass i will always make sure to finish my yard uh when we're done with it i will always re-outline it to get rid of all those turnaround passes uh, on the lawn so there's my secret there's my answer for you guys hopefully this video helped you guys out just a quick fun one a little basic uh, how-to tutorial if you will for zero turn lawnmowers if you guys enjoyed it let me know shoot a big thumbs up i really appreciate that guys if you're new check out these other videos don't forget to smash that subscribe button again if you guys want to see how to stripe go edge to edge you guys can check out one of those videos over here and guys we'll catch up with you on the next one thanks for watching